Hi there, and uh, welcome to a quick video where we'll go over the installation process for uh, liveries, for air, air aircraft uh, liveries, and we got the uh, cockpit textures here as well. Uh, so you gotta go to your Microsoft Flight Simulator main folder, uh, which is in my uh, my yeah, my case, it's in the D, uh, D drive, separate drive, it's a Samsung SSD uh, I've installed. Uh, your can be in C, just gotta find your main folder where you have community and official. Uh, you gotta go to your community folder and this is where all your add-ons are stored, uh, basically. Um, to install the actual, you cannot drag it like that, yeah, you can, but it will not work. <laughs> so you gotta open the, uh, the, the zip file. Um, I think it's a zip file or it's a compressed file at least. Um, yeah, it's a zip file. So you gotta open the zip file. Inside there is a folder again with delivery and you simply drag that one in the community folder. So there it goes, that's one, uh, that's this one. Move that one to the trash bin, it's done. Got the British Airways livery for the 747, move it inside there as well. Goes quite fast with this SSD and the C drive is an enemy A drive, um, that one over there. And got the KLM livery as well. <coughs> yeah, then inside you got these folders, but this is the actual one which you need to move. Got that one going there. And then we got the cockpit textures as well. So we're gonna try to drag this folder again. Oh, again, it's the same folders in there. Drag that one over there as well. And there we go. So now they're all installed. Uh, all we gotta do now is start up the simulator and they will be there. So I'll see you when we get there. So here we are in the simulator. If you're thinking like, why are my colors so strange over here? That's using reshade here, uh, which is changing the colors a little bit. Uh, it gives me a better flight experience. If you're wondering how to use it, how to install it, let me know. I'll make a video about it. Um, reshade is very nice. Uh, I started using it for videos, but now I found out that I, uh, after using reshade for a while, actually I don't want anything else anymore. Um, or the default color, so to say. So yeah, like you saw, saw already here, the 747 liveries, we got the uh, British Airways, the KLM, and the Lufthansa livery here, uh, together with the default liveries. The cockpit texture will be applied to all 747s, so to switch off the cockpit texture, all you have to do is simply drag out the folder from the community folder, and you will have the default cockpit. So we'll take a look on this cockpit, cockpit texture here just in a minute um, and this works for all other planes so i recently installed something for the atr so you got the fin air over here and if you go over here we no, over here this one nope <laughs> this this one yeah we got the delta livery over here um so yeah it's working the same way for all uh, all airplanes um aircraft selection 747 let's just pick a uh british airways delivery uh, world map, then just pick any random departure because uh, Halifax is a decent airport. This runway should be sufficient. Set as a departure, 3000 meters, that will be for sure, okay. Um, yeah, then we'll see you when we are at the runway for the cockpit textures. So here we are, sitting in the 747 with the uh, new cockpit textures. And as you can see, it's uh, clearly a difference here in brightness already and uh, in detail as well here um, it's a little bit more detailed uh, the overhead panel as well here so uh, that's something nice to have um, I don't know why the test bar is showing up all the time there anyway and we got the liveries as well installed so let's take a look outside Just noticed the high amount of detail there on this livery, this British Airways livery. And like always, I will link the liveries and the cockpit textures down in the description below. They're not mine, they're from uh, creators on a uh, flight simulator add-on website. So I will share those on the description. Um, yeah, I hope you liked this video, I hope you found it useful. If you want to know something else, another tip or trick or whatever, let me know. And uh, I'll make a video and share it with you. Alright, thanks for watching, have fun flying, and see you in the next one.